today is the Saturday, the 7th of March. We're seven weeks out from the Arnold South America. And basically I thought, you know, being that I'm trying to put up more videos on YouTube and kind of show you guys a bit more personal life of mine. I thought today would be a good day to do a day in a life of video. And normally my day in a life would consist of me going to work first thing in the morning. And obviously then coming back and going training. But I thought there's not much I can do from going to work. So I thought, you know, this would be a really good opportunity to kind of show you a day in a life on a weekend. I kind of give you an idea of what a normal to a point average weekend is. I mean, I know most of the guys when they do day in life, they go obviously massage and food and training, which we have food and training preparation in this because that's what we do during the weekend. But I also want to show you guys more personal life of what my life really is like and not just what it's expected to be like. So today it's going to be us and I'm showing you what we do on an average weekend. So hope you like this video, like and subscribe and all the other stuff they do on YouTube. I ain't a YouTube person, I don't know. But I'm just going to show you guys and just, you know, do the best I can to show you a lot of the life for me. So stay tuned. Oh, so having um, pancakes for breakfast today. And basically, we, we're dropping weight so much over the weekend and stuff that we both basically trying to fill out this weekend and get, um, kind of get back on track and slow the weight drop process, especially it's been seven weeks out. So today we have a special bra um, pancakes. Don't really have this happen much at all. But today is just a one-off. I'm happy about that. Being from the lady that controls my diet, she's got the plan, she knows what to do, she knows how she's trying to get me down, and yeah, that's where the trust and everything else comes from, so I gotta rely on her to obviously get, get me in shape, I just gotta do what she tells me. <laughs> oh. So I'm just packing up our camera that we bought about a few months ago. And we basically bought it for this. But what happened was, it just wasn't practical. As much as it is, you're trying to obviously upload on social media, and upload on um, YouTube and stuff like that. But the camera, it just wasn't practical to use in a practical day when you're trying to obviously do the sport and then record as well. So as you see now, we're using a, we're using a mobile phone to record this video. So, sorry for the quality, if it's not that great, but Basically, I'm selling the camera off again because it just it just didn't help us out as much and didn't give us enough time to obviously set up the camera, do the recording and everything else. So we're trying to find a more practical means of getting all this actual done so it's as easy as possible for us to get through so we can do a lot more videos. So until we get in the point where we get a much better camera or find a better camera, especially one that works with the lighting in our gym because our gym is a bit dark. As you see later when I go for a chest workout later today. But we just want a camera that actually can cover that kind of lighting a lot better. So I'm going to take this, we're going to record, we're going to pack this up and uh, take it down to the post office today. So one of the things on our daily run today as well as food shopping. These are the two meals for today, for Saturday when we're going to go out because we're going to go to the gym and later we go to Macros, probably straight after the gym. Um, so we need to have meals for some sun when we are out. So one of the meals is sweet potatoes and that's going to be 250 grams of sweet potato with um, 200 grams of chicken breast and then the other one will be rice. And the second one is um, rice, so that will be around 225 grams of rice and chicken breast. So that's, that's for today. So what we do, we, we prefer that, um, rather than just weighing the rice, we uh, prefer to do it in cups because it's so much easier to do. So this is half of a cup, that's half of the measure cup, and I'm putting here a cup and a half. So that would be around, because one cup of rice, cooked rice, is around 150 grams of rice. Um, but that's obviously, it depends what people cook their rice because some rice will have more water, some less, but let's say it's around 150 
I'm surprised. So cup, cup and a half will be around 225 grams. So we've got our chicken legs already pre-cooked and pre-measured. So I'm just putting that with the meals. And I'll start up with some olive oil on that. gym we got a chest workout today to kind of get through and uh, today we normally I'm um, train today is Saturday and then tomorrow we have a day off of just rest but first thing we like to get out Saturday Saturday is the only day in the week where we actually do train in the early hours in the morning and late early afternoon so we kind of just come before to just getting this done but I am anyway because it's obviously one of them times we're in that section of prep but I'm gonna deliver a package to the post office and then head to the gym from there. Show for uh, the taking the road on. <laughs> you, right? Oh, yes, that's the understanding of freaking traffic. Oh, on top of that, I hear it coming. Oh, I freaking went all the way. Incline chest press, or incline bench press. And one thing I gotta say is, I've been quite lucky through my days. Chest is one of my stronger muscle groups. 
So with where guys will do multiple, multiple exercises try to build up their chest. I only stick to quite basic stuff. And only, I mean, chest for me, we only do three workouts. I could still go extremely heavy for the workouts and that, especially on the chest, on the bench press. But because it is one of my stronger points, we tend to kind of keep it on the incline because one, it's a lot more safe for my joints. Two, I feel like all I need to do is work from that angle there to activate my whole chest muscles in one, one movement. So where you have like incline, flat, decline, I don't really focus on none of that, you know. The workout I do is basically to try to keep it big and compound when we actually do the chest and the bench press. So this is where we always normally start a workout from and we just work from that angle. Exercise of the day, we are on a hammer strength chest press. So as you can see what we tend to, what we tend to do is um, we tend to hit four sets, four to five sets. And what I tend to do is I tend to build up to the weights. So first I'll start off with like 120 plates aside, and then I'll build up to my maximum of like matter four or like three and a half plates, depending on obviously the way, how much energy and how much I'm feeling that day. And then we do two, two sets right at the top of the heaviest weight I can lift and for that same 12 reps. So this is my idea in terms of training chest and everything else. We kind of like work your weight way up to the weight rack, going heavier and heavier. And when you get to your maximum one, two full sets at the top and that's it for that exercise. So that's what we're doing here. Let's check it out. Workout of the day, man. The cables and basically we can control, con we can control what this is contraction of the muscle. And what we do is cables try to put for pure focus on the chest. And almost like when you're hitting a most muscular pose, so we try to contract the lower chest and the middle chest to kind of get that real tight, deep separation that comes in from that. So that's what we tend to focus on when we hit this. We hit this workout. It's not just about pushing heavy weight in this one, it's about how well you can contract them chest muscles to really get them to really fill out blood and explode up.
Done with chest, man. You know what? I only do, we're moving on to ab workouts and with abs. I only do abs basically on 10 weeks out on the press. And this way, you obviously, you're trying to bring them abs and bring that waistline a lot tighter. And especially for me, the way I feel it, man, what are you doing is all about that small waist. And one thing I'm always known for is that ability to keep my midline and midsection very small, even though the amount of size we put on through time. I don't let, never let my waist go out of control. So now we're moving on to the abs training. And it's not about moving weight. Here it's all about contraction, holding, being able to hold the abs in nice and tight. And at no point, you know, keep full control and almost working on that diaphragm so you'll be able to hold your waist in regardless all, all the time, even when you relax breathing. So this is the abs workout we do. So it's all on cables, super setting basically. Up crunches with side for the obliques. Done training. Ah, just tired. But I'm having my um, third meal of the day, and we have, you know, chicken breast, sweet potatoes. And yeah, so I'm gonna finish up from here. I'm gonna finish eating, and we're gonna drive down to do some food shopping. So, yep, the day carries on, man. Before we then get home and actually finally have some time to have some downtime and rest, so and get the working parts out of the way. Yeah. Purchase your tracks 
This one. This Someone one. is prepping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what? Put it away. Put it away. Oh, fucking kidding me, man. <laughs> no good stuff. <laughs> this is dry fish. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-one. One thirty-one ninety-nine. How long would that last? Two weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is life of bodybuilding. Well, we love it. We love it. Still. She ain't good in camera as well. We're gonna put her in camera. No, anyway. I'm not good in camera. <laughs> I'm very conscious of my look. I'm right. just very conscious okay. of my look. Okay. All right then. Um, you know, so. I, I, I do all Samsung food, obviously. This is, I think everyone knows it by now. Mm -hmm. um, I and yes, it is time consuming that with the weekends I usually taken away by preparing food and, and we do all this stuff as well on top of that. Um, so, um, but, you know, that's the best way to manage. This is how I found it is it, the best way because during the week, it probably would be impossible for us to prepare food. If that would mean that I would have to stay at home, um, not go, I wouldn't go to be able to go to the gym with him because we train together as well every single night. And even though maybe our, my training has gone down, but, you know, I still enjoy going to the gym and we've always been training together. So it's, it's, it's that thing that, um, you know, probably would be hard to get um, let go of. Um, but, yeah, so what we do, with the, what we do is Monday, Friday is work, um, getting up early in the morning, going to work, um, coming back, having one or two hours a bit of rest and then going to the gym. So I prepare all the meals and meat 
I do it weekends, so I do it like here, do it all in bold, and then I will portion it and freeze it. Um, the rice and, and the sweet potatoes, um, I cook weekends and then also midweek because it doesn't last for that long. Um, and what else? I'm prepared so much easier, so much easier because all I have to cook is rice, sweet potato, and meat which is steak and chicken breast and fish or rice, fish and tuna. Um, but I just, this one I just put in the skin. Um, off season is hard because we have pasta, we have um, minced beef with some bolognese sauce. So it's just cooking is, is, is never ending. Um, but yes, but it's, it is what it is. Um, you know, you love this sport. I love this sport even though I'm not competing, but I love this the, the, the sport is equally something is it and you know, I'm, I'm very much involved in it, um, the same as he is, um, so I wouldn't really um, have it other way. So there's those small sacrifices of maybe, you know, when you have Sundays, you just want to chill out and lie or sit and then or maybe go out, um, but we're sitting at home cooking, uh, preparing food, but, you know, we've, we've done it for, for quite a few years now, and I don't know if I... Would swap it. Sometimes we have um, we go away and we have, we have full days, and all of a sudden we have this extra time, and we were thinking, oh my gosh, like how do we manage? What do we do? So discipline, I think, helps a lot because we don't find ourselves lost. If, even on Monday, Friday, it's just literally everything is on the clock. Um, we don't even have time to, I don't know, just to, just 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 to, I don't know, but. The, so everything is run by the clock, uh, Saturday, Sundays, also run by the clock, but sometimes we have time to watch movies and, you know, he obviously plays his PlayStation, I do my own stuff for a bit. So this is how we've been living really and, you know, it helps a lot. Having that discipline um, does help a lot. Not saying that, you know, not having work would it be nice because we would but the reality is most of us work you know there's not many people who don't work and we still have to find a way so yeah I love it and I wouldn't have it other way training you know we got every year you know I'd like to set goals for myself and yeah man it's never been easy but obviously my dream this year my ambition and just goal this year other than obviously getting to Olympia and competing at that level is I really you know I really want to get somewhere to live like well, a proper like we don't have a proper we home in a flat, basically. yeah but I want, a, I want a home yeah you know get a proper house and yeah. I think I just this year I definitely want to buy us a house so we can actually have that space we'd be longing for and having something that's ours so mm -hmm. i think i mean it's just personal for me but i feel like yeah that's my goal this year so that moment when i'm fighting on stage and fighting with them weights and the gym and everything else all i'm thinking about is man what would it take what do i need to give how much do i need to sacrifice just to be in that position to you know achieve something you know something for us you know, after all the sacrifice and work we put in, it's just something that I really want to do. So we're going to go have a look around. I mean, we've been looking at different properties and stuff around the area. So we're going to go have a look around uh, some new build houses today as well. And just kind of have a guess of what we're looking for, you know. That's one so. of the reasons as well also why 
or he said stick to full time jobs, especially Samsung. Yep. Is because he, you know, you know applying for the for, for the mortgage, it's it's very important that you know you've got yep. your full full yep. employment history. They're looking at the, all those things. So as much as we would like um, for him not having to go to work every single day, because that won't help in a way in bodybuilding, but there is a bigger picture. Yep. Um, mm. In that decision. And hopefully it's going to work for us really well this year. Fingers that's crossed, the, man. That's the plan, that's the goal, <laughs> that's the dream. That's the dream this year, man. If that's just, you know, possible. Well, but we'll see. We'll see, man. We just got to keep working, you know. Mm. It is what it is, man. Just keep working. And I believe we can achieve it this year for 100%. Me too. Mm. Some fat free chips, the pure potatoes only, with steak. Chill out, watch a movie, just take it easy, you know. But this is uh, not my last bit of a day, you know. Put a film on and have some downtime. 